Long Island, one of the most picturesque places in the world. Really, Oyster Bay, it's gorgeous. And uh, how's it looking now, Vanessa? All right, let me tell you what. Let's take you out. New York is all about. <laughs> that was so, a beautiful um, dog. I, just, I wasn't sure if he was going to tackle you or if you were going to tackle him or no. what was going to happen there. But no. It looked choreographed no. right there. Oh, it's all love. You and I know. Oliver. That's the magic of Port Washington established in 1644. Ah, interesting. All right, John, stick with us because we have a very special viewer, also yes. named Oliver, yeah. who is a huge fan of yours. All right, let's go to John Elliott once again. He is in Port Washington in Nassau County. John, have you figured out a way to convince Vince to come on the other side of the camera? Because I, for one, would pay money to see that. We would both. Yeah. We would both. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I got to tell you, and you know what's so funny, Dick? You mentioned something. That line about uh, out, outdoor dining has been canceled. That made Vince laugh out loud this morning <laughs> when he heard. But let's have an Oyster Bay on Long Island, one of the most picturesque places in the world. Really, Oyster Bay, it's gorgeous. And uh, how's it looking now, Vanessa? All right, let me tell you what. Let's take you, Jessica. We'll send it back to you live from Oyster Bay. We hope that you are staying toasty inside as the wind chill here sits in the single digits. Oh, my gosh, Vanessa. I know. You're such a warrior out there. Yes. 14 hours for Andrew. It's still happy, perky. I need to know his secret. Yeah, really. I mean, lots of coffee. But I, by the way, Vanessa, I don't I know, know if you're talking to me, but I've lost you. Oh, oh you lost IFB. Too, too okay. bad. We had questions anyway, about Andrew. We Well, you had a question about Andrew. No, I mean, I'm married. I'm just saying. He's a cute guy. Yeah, he was a good looking guy there. Um, and Andrew was working very hard. At least 14 hours. 14 and he hours. did say that down in the cove, the roads are actually looking pretty good right now. You know, I. Driving in this morning, it always, and I've talked to plow guys, we both have through yeah. the years, and they always say the same thing. People, you'd think they'd steer clear, but they don't. I know. They, they, they cut off plows, which is really not a smart thing to do when you think about it. No, it's not smart for obviously like the entire community's benefit, but also like who's going to win in that situation? Yeah, I was going to say, he said, and I said it must be one of those big suburbans. Like, nah, the little guy, the Prius. I was like, okay, who's going to win that war? I know.